This is my history project. Here it goes. I didn't mind over the Whiskey Rebellion. And I am in first period. Okay. George Washington was a president that helped us stay out of the war and wanted us America to always be strong in a United Nation. He only served two terms because he did not want to have a king like Britain did. He also was a great president and wanted the U.S. to want anyone to become a dictator. So he, so he only ran for, for two terms. So if the fallen presidents would do the same, and he was really well liked. Jewish presidency. George Washington was the first president of the United States of America to set many great policies that are still followed today. Washington was very well liked, and therefore everyone wanted him to stay as president due to his great policies. When he was president, he ended all the outrageous taxes such as and such, and helped make our military strong by spending more money, no matter what other people said. He chose not to be re-elected because he did not want to become a dictator, but everyone wanted him to stay because they loved him, and they wanted his legacy to roll on. My rising action is, the Whiskey, the whiskey Rebellion was a huge event in the George Washington presidency, which proved how strong the government was. The government said a tax on whiskey in the North and the South was not happy, thinking it was unfair. Riots set out, and it started fires, violent, sorry, American, and they rebelled, and they set out into violent fights. The South was livid at the movement and started to start fires, too. I think it was a superior time in Washington's presidency because it gave him a big decision and want him to know how to overcome it. Here's some pictures of the Whiskey Rebellion. Here's like a picture of the fire they made and such. Yeah. Okay, uh, next was my rising action. It says George Washington was tested in the riots and he wanted to put a stop to it before it got out of hand. He sent his troops down to the riots where his men were ordered to stop this violent rebellion. George Washington always wanted everyone to be equal and no one to riot because we were all free. The rebellions were very violent and no one truly benefited from it in the long run. Here's my climax. When George Washington stopped the protest, he was loved by almost everyone. Washington's troops were sent down to the riots and somehow put up a peaceful ending to all the, all the madness and violence. The rioters had no match to even try to set face to face with his troops because they were outnumbered. His goal is to have a calm, peaceful end to the rebellion and try to do something because of the laws. Because of the peaceful men in the army, they realized there was no reason to fight, so they put down so they put down their guns. This is my climax of my falling action. After rebellions after the rebellion, George Washington was loved by lots of people. All the people loved him because he ended the rebellion without violent actions. He also then later figured out a way to figure out how to make it fair for everyone, so they also loved him for that too. This closed out the big conflict in the rebellion, and that's why he's known as one of the most liked presidents due to his great policies. Thank you for watching my video.